So anemia and myelofibrosis fibrosis is a difficult issue to tackle. Patients should be investigated first, trying to find out if there are any causes for the anemia, hematinic deficiency, autoimmune disease, etc., etc., because many of these can contribute. Um, having made sure that there's nothing else apart from the myelofibrosis um, that's contributing to the anemia, the issues then are how do you manage it? Um, the first thing that you can do is uh, give erythropoietin stimulating agents. Having first measured the erythropoietin level, because we want to be sure to see that these patients have a, a low or normal erythropoietin level. If they have a very high erythropoietin level, then it's pointless giving them ESAs. And then they, you, they can be given ESAs to see if they respond in order to put their hemoglobin up. Dosaging is fairly standard, um, and they should be given a trial of that for up to 12 weeks. May work, may not work. Um, other things that then can be tried um, are things like danazol, and then there are a number of other agents, uh, steroid imids, and some drugs that are not widely available in the UK, but that may be helpful in managing the anemia. However, you may left, be left with a patient with um, anemia and myelofibrosis. And the issue then is what do you do um, from the point of view of treatment? The first line agent which we widely use is ruxolitinib, which is it often makes patients drop their haemoglobin, make them more anemic. Um, and this now, uh, the, the, the haemoglobin may stabilize, so you can try that. Um, but it may make the anemia worse. So then the, the new kid on the block, so to speak, is momolotinib, which is now licensed. It has a different mechanism of action, um, so that it's an ACDR1 inhibitor, and therefore interferes with hepcidin, and the haemoglobin may then come up. So in a patient who is anemic with myelofibrosis, uh, momolotinib is probably now the first line choice in order to treat these patients myelofibrosis and therefore control their spleen, their symptoms, etc., but also may impr improve their haemoglobin and may even make them transfusion independent.